Hello everyone, I'm Ryan Hayashi, reporting from Munich in Germany. Somebody sent me a video called Magician Reacts to Ryan Hayashi on Fulas. That's, uh, that's me. Um, this is by somebody named Eduard Todor. I, I don't know his stuff. Um, I'm told he, he does reviews on Magician's television appearances, my friends uh, Shin Lim and Sean Farquhar. Um, so I'm going to react to him reacting to me. Let's take a look. Today's video, we're finally reacting to Ryan Hayashi, something that's been requested so much. Like when, when this came out, when this guy performed, uh, this so out. many people requested it that it's insane. So many and people I'm definitely going to be looking forward to it. I've heard some good stuff about it. I, I, I kept myself from watching this just so I could react to it. So very, very uh, curious to see what this is. Before we get into it, uh, a friend of the, the channel and a viewer oh, and he, uh, he sounds British, uh, just Australian, all around good guy Ryan um, is a dialysis patient and he needs a transplant. He's been trying to say, um, like do kind of fundraising to, to get to get some money to do that. Um, he's the guy that actually designed the end credit scene. If you see my videos with the you know the cards at the end, a lot of people ask me about that. He just designed that for me out of like just because he wanted to. He's a big fan, so. Um, you know, it wasn't. I didn't ask him to do it or anything. Okay, so he's talking about um, definitely the, go out. I'll put the link to the GoFundMe in, uh, in the description, and if you you know if you can give a, a couple bucks, a pure mean a lot. With that being said, let's get straight into this reaction. Curious to see what this is. Now let's we're getting go. into it. I'm Ryan Hayashi. When I was a kid, I had two heroes, Bruce Lee and David Copperfield. <laughs> they inspired me. I wanted to do what they did. Ryan Hashi, the martial arts and magic are very similar one one. because they both come from older traditions that have been passed down over centuries. I'm not, I'm not trying to mess with you with that sword, though. Certain movements to the point no. that he doesn't want to mess with me with that sword. Good idea. Very good. The first time I actually combined magic and the martial arts was the samurai madman of magic. I cut up vegetables around people's heads blindfolded. Ah, oh, that kid. kind of act. Okay. No, 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 no. We just said it's that kind of act. That's not the act. That performance to magic in its purest form, <laughs> showing off that suits him. A few coins that fit in my pocket. That like really intense, like you know, that suits him for sure. <laughs> really intense. <laughs> Although it would be cool to see him do it in a gi, like just in like kimono, you know. Time to get my freak on. It would be a little weird though, if I, yeah. on a second thought. When I was a kid in the 1980s, I saw Penn and Teller on television performing an act with just a pencil. He and just a said cigarette. it would be cool the to see me performing me kimono, but a little weird. So Penn, I've done it. Teller, I now present to you what you inspired in me 30 years ago. I'm going to hurt your brain using these four cards That's and four coins in an original routine I call the ultimate matrix. Very pretentious statement. Moment, I'm going to hurt your brain. Let's see what he has. Very pretentious statement. I'm going to hurt your brain. Let's see what I've got. Traveling from their corners to all come together, gathering here in this corner and landing underneath this square. And if I can create the illusion that those coins move without me using my hands, well then, I might just fool you. Nice, nice. So far, it seems pretty classical. I believe. I don't think it's anything new. Four coins in a square. A card over each coin. Watch closely because this does happen very fast. Hi, Joel. Okay, now. And I just did it. Was that too fast for you? Not a problem. <laughs> that is very smooth. And, uh, I'll just do it one more time. Ooh, boy! <laughs> That's fleet! The dude's liking That's it. Please. One by one, so you can actually see the coins traveling one at a time. I'm just barely following this light. So like, barely. Everything. Everybody, watch this coin travel. Okay, what? Watch I, the next one. I caught him on that. Go from the side. Okay, yeah, okay, yes. But no. And the people from this side yes, but, yes, but no. Do you know what I mean? This phase is fooling us. Disappear from my fingertips. Watch this last coin vanish, creating a tremor what? in the force. As a hundred thousand children watching this suddenly decide that magic <laughs> is cool. I feel like I know what he's doing. Well, no, I know what he's supposed to be doing, but I can't see shit. Like, I know why he's like. There's no other way to do it, so I know what he should be doing, 
for their concert. That, that's it right there. He said he, he knows what I should be doing, but he can't see anything. Each coin that's jump. the way I designed this it. This is the part that hits people hard. All I have to do is make the mysterious Asian sounds. What? There's the oh, right. <laughs> she gets me off guard every time. That was awesome. What? Oh, right. Caught him off guard. And that makes like, I can't. The next one. No hands, just because I can. Vanishes here. Reappears. God damn. In the corner, and Did not expect that one. Did not expect that one. Look at him. Look at the psychological trauma on this guy right here, That's man. Like <laughs> it's just too much for this me to time, follow. I just wrecked no his cards, brain hole. Just my bare hands and a dose of honesty. I've been performing magic since I was eight years old. Here's the monologue. And it took me 12 years to create this act. So for me, this is not just a magic trick. This is something far deeper. Huh. And a thousand times more that savage. That is so... A work clean, bro. Beauty that has been growing oh, no way, man. Like an uncontrollable weed in the garden of my mind. That's so clean, you see this. He's so funny, too. I have crossed oceans of time. Oh, I've that put a lot of work into it, man. I, I rehearsed so I the heck out of that thing. A performing here very seriously. <laughs> oh, shit, dog. In creating this act <laughs> could demolish no. He's having fun this watching it. That's the main thing. This is the most epic monologue in the history of magic. <laughs> this is hilarious. To inflict psychological damage. And that means we're not done yet. Dude, that is so clean. That one coin vanished at the end? What in the hell? I know what he did, but it's just nuts. He likes that one coin vanished at the end. Thank hands. you, man. Let's take this to the next level. I'll do it again with just... One hand. Here we go. One hand. You can ask any magician around the world about performing an illusion this clean using just one hand, and they will tell you that it is physically impossible. And it looks like this. Booyah. Watch the next one. I get nowhere near those coins with my hand. And still vanishes from here, huh. reappears in the corner, and I am the Jackie Chan of magic. <laughs> Look at the dude's grin, man. He's giggling like a little kid. It's fun to watch. We fly from here to there, forming a perfect square. It happens on the count of three. Get ready for this. I've seen it all. Nosley, seizures. There's one. There's two. That's three. Do that shit right there, man. And as promised, I can now actually show you a perfect square formed by one, two, three. Woo! Damn, dude. Oh. <laughs> He's pounding, <laughs> and I can feel the adrenaline okay, this guy is hilarious. my veins. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for sharing this moment with me, because just being here was a dream, was a dream come, come true. true. So for everyone, so watch, for everyone watching, if you, have a dream, if you have a dream, never give up believing in your dream, living your dream, and doing something every day to make that dream happen. But remember one thing. You've got to do something that's going to mess I'm about to do something. No matter how hard you work. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Or how good you think you are and what you do. There will always what? How many are there, there, bro? Okay, that last one fooled me. How? Oh, Alright, that fooled him. Four <laughs> jumps. Count. Damn. Damn, dude. That's just nuts. Okay, that, that's got to be the best. The best act on Hula, period. Wow. He just said he thought that was the best act ever on Hula. Like, Thanks. if it was just the slights, if it was just the slights, you could argue, you know, Shin Lim, you could argue all these people. But, the fact that he did that with the monologue and the whole, like, the, the script and everything, that shit's nuts, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's about the monologue in the script. Straight up, the best act that's ever been on floor. Straight up. I, I don't care what anyone says. Please ask me a question. All this stuff is unscripted at this point. That's just me being me. And that's what the people found the funniest, you know? The act was done. It was just talking at that point. Being able to come here today, I've never met them before today, and show this to them. It's not me showing 
my work. Let's not be showing it's my showing work. Them, uh, the effect, uh, one act on this TV is showing the effect one act can have on a, on a like little bringing kid. It back to them and it's bringing it back to them and saying, Damn, love them. You know, that's me showing respect to my heroes. You know? Googled the show. This is season five and the last four seasons before me. 240 performers on the stage, only three coin guys before me. And that, that means something. It's hard to put a coin act together, make it entertaining. 100%. Uh, I tried 100%. Best. I, I it resonated with the people. I hope you like it. Shit, boy. He, he, he gets it, you know. The fact that I was one of only three coin acts. Like, co like cohesively as an as a act. Oh, right, baby. Top boy, act that's a, Wow. That's a, that's a really good act. And uh, you were just saying how hard coin magic is to do. And we've done um, versions of Matrix. Or the reason why it's so hard to, to make coin Matrix, acts work, you can only uh, do two things with a coin. You can make them vanish, you can make them reappear. So, it's really hard to build an act around that. So much comedy and personality. Yeah. And also a really different, fresh way to do that. 100%. Fresh style. The um, bravado coupled with the comedy on that, the wink on every bit of it. So what Penn and Teller are saying uh, right you know, now, that sums it up. Uh, you know, the actual then, act itself is only this much of it. That's to what I'm saying, it's not something that you so can't. What made really my follow. segment was what I made people feel and think. It was, <laughs> yeah. what was coming out. That's of how head. I feel, man. She just beat us into submission with pure skill. Yeah. So the last few things you did, we have no idea how you did them because we were just enjoying. Yeah, it too yeah, much. that's exactly how I feel. Like that one, it's like not that you don't know the method. It's that it's so good that you don't see anything that you almost stop giving a shit. Do you know? Do you know what I'm saying? That is nuts. That is absolutely nuts. Like, I don't know how I could break this down more than what uh, what Penn and Tal Penn has said. Uh, I was gonna say Penn and Tal has said, but Tal doesn't say shit. That's the point. Okay. <laughs> but damn, bro, that's that's an insane act right there. I mean, if I've ever seen a good act, that's a good act. Okay. If it was okay. just a sleight of hand, thank you. If it was just a sleight of hand. Let's say he did the music. You could argue, okay? You know, Shin Lim yeah, if has it was a crazy just a act. Of you know, hand, well, has mm. multiple crazy acts. Um, but that's not what you know, my segment was about. Who else was a really good actor? Like I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember. You know, so he agrees um, with Penn and Teller. Yeah. There, was a, there was a bunch of people like the the, the um, metal. I'm trying to pull a curtain up with the metal um, metal ball oh. cups and balls. You oh, know, that's really nice cups and balls. Added twist on something that's already been done. You know, uh, there's so many people that have had crazy acts on on Fool Us. Yeah. This is not. This is next level. I mean, this is like this is like winning FISM type shit. I, I'm surprised. I, I don't know. I don't know. I need to look into this guy before I say something stupid, because then you guys are gonna comment like, "He's a champion, dude. What are you talking about?" <laughs> of course, or something. You know what I mean? Just said. Uh, but uh, that, I, don't, that I, haven't, like a I wasn't familiar man. with no, a bunch of his work. Check but on I'm definitely who this guy be is. From now, it's not. I wasn't crazy, FISM. Crazy, man. I did crazy, crazy, crazy. Anyway, that's about all I have to say about this. I Thank didn't win, but I was there. As always, mad respect, much love, stay lit, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay. To this guy, Edward Toto, thank you very much for your review. Um, that was cool. And uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to take a look at this, but it might be fun finally having a magician react to you reacting to the magicians. And cut.